This little wooden tile on my fridge isn't what it looks like. It's a touch screen, it runs AI, and it updates my shopping list automatically. I just write something like X and it appears instantly on my phone. And the crazy part, all of this runs in a tiny SP32 board buried inside this wooden looking shell. So let me show you how I build this. This whole project started with a simple thought. Whenever you open the fridge, that's the exact moment you notice what's missing. Eggs, milk, bread or anything else. And that moment is the most convenient time to note it down. But there is never an easy way to do it right there. Probably your phone is not in your hand. Maybe you are in the middle of cooking or cleaning and you don't want to stop and type something. I wanted a small and a quick way to capture that thought. Right on the fridge. Without opening an app, type something and without changing what I'm doing. Something you can just tap, write something and move on. And whatever you write should instantly pop up in a shopping list in your phone. That's the exact problem I wanted to solve. Capturing the idea right at the moment in the simplest way possible. Once I understood the problem, the vision itself was very simple. I wanted a small device that I could tap on the fridge, write on and walk away. The device would let me write something, send it to an AI model to recognize the text and then update my shopping list through an API. My hand-drawn note, then the AI and lastly the phone. I even wanted to add a small feature where the most common items like eggs, milk or bread show up as quick options so I don't always have to write them. Now I just needed a hardware small enough, smart enough and low power enough to make this possible. So I started looking for an hardware which is small and powerful enough to run touch input, Wi-Fi and a bit of AI logic. There are a lot of small displays out there, but most of them either need separate driver boards, extra wiring or don't support touch at all. Some were too big, some were too basic and some were just not practical enough for a battery powered project. And then I found this ESP32 touchscreen module, often called the cheap yellow display. Elegoo were kind enough to send one over, which made it possible for me to bring this project to life. It's a compact display with touch support, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. It also has battery pads on the board, even speaker support if I ever wanted to add audio. It was basically everything I needed in one tiny board. So that became the foundation of the entire project. With the hardware sorted, the next question was, where should all these handwritten groceries item would go? I needed something which will work both in iPhone and Android, syncs instantly, and most importantly, has an API I could call directly from the device. I tried a few different apps, but some didn't have APIs, and some only worked on one platform. And eventually, I find Notion. I realized Notion checked every box. It's cross-platform, it syncs fast, and the API is clean and straightforward to work with. So with the goal and tools in place, I could finally start building the actual device. Before writing any code, I actually wanted the device to feel like it actually belonged on the fridge. Not like a prototype with wires sticking out, but something which looked intentional. So I opened Fusion 360 and began designing. A small case to house the screen, battery and stylus. And then I started my 3D printer to print using a wood looking filament. Once it came off the printer, I started the assembly, putting the display, the battery, and then my wife added these little hand drawn textures with acrylic pens to make it look even more natural. And lastly, I added a magnet strip on the back so it could snap onto the fridge just like any regular fridge magnet. At this point the hardware was fully ready, a compact wooden enclosure, a touch screen inside and a battery power setup that could live on the fridge all day. Once the hardware was ready, I finally moved on to the software. I started simple, I installed the ESP32 board package connected the display, wrote my code and ran a basic hello program just to make sure everything was working. And this is where the things got interesting. The screen stayed black until I realized the backlit pane needed to be enabled in the code. Touch input wasn't working either. 
because the touch controller uses a different SPI bus than the display. And then the SD card wouldn't mount until I reformat it to FAT32. Basically every part of the system needed its own little fix until it came together. But once the basics were running, display, touch and storage, I could finally start building the actual drawing experience. After the testing, I set up a drawing mode so that I could tap the screen, write something and the device records it. My original goal was to do everything on the ESP32 board itself. But the moment I tried making the AI and API calls from the device, it kept running into memory limits and failing. No matter how I structured it, the ESP32 just didn't have enough room to handle the whole flow reliably. So I took a step back and tried a different approach. I built a small workflow on my local NA10 server. The device would send the handwriting to NA10, NA10 would handle the AI recognition and update the shopping list. That worked smoothly and let me test the full concept end to end. But I still wasn't satisfied. I really wanted this tiny device to handle everything on its own without depending on any external server. So I gave it another try. This time, optimizing the way drawing was captured, the way data was prepared, and how the memory was managed before each API call. Piece by piece, it started working. The AI call succeeded, the text was recognized, and the shopping list updated directly from the device. And finally, the entire loop ran fully on ESP32 board. No NA10 server, no bridge, just this tiny board doing everything by itself. Once everything was working, I realized if I'm not writing anything, the screen is just sitting on a plain black background. So as a small finishing touch, I needed a simple slideshow that plays whenever the device is idle. It doesn't affect how it works, but it makes the magnet feel more complete, like a tiny digital frame that comes alive when I'm not writing on it. And now this tiny wooden tile on my fridge does exactly what I need. So let me show you a quick demo of the end-to-end -end process without making any cut on the video. So if I'm not doing anything, the magnet shows pictures and the shopping list has three items. So let's tap, click on custom, let's write ice. Open AI vision has been called. The text has been recognized and you can see automatically ice has popped up here. So no apps to open, no typing, no extra steps, just write and walk away. It's a simple idea, but having it right on the fridge makes it incredibly natural to use. And the best part, it runs everything directly on this tiny board inside the case. Lastly, thanks to Aligu for sending me this display that made this whole project possible. I have added their link in the description if you want to check it out. And I'm really curious, how would you approach this? What would you add, change or build differently? Drop your ideas in the comment. I would love to explore them in the next version. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.